Guys, I did something. I did something bad. I shaved my face! <laughs> ah, all right, look, I, I finally caved, man. You know what, beard life is tough. I think I said this before last time I shaved, but tell you what, kudos to, if you got a beard, man, that, that is not the easiest life to live. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, man, food in your face. Anyways, that's not what this video is about <laughs> at all. Um, this video is all about when should you not get a guitar. Now, I did a video uh, last week about when should you get a guitar, of course, always. But, um, you know, there were some more serious points in there, just like there will be today. When should you not get a guitar? When, I mean, you good, bro? And just a friendly reminder, my guitar courses are on sale this week only uh, before I raise the prices on them and all that stuff. So that is linked down below in the description if you want to check it out. But other than that, let's go ahead and dive on into these. <laughs> So number one is how will getting this new guitar affect you? Like I said, these are gonna be actually serious <laughs> answers versus just you should always get a new guitar. Um, you know, how will it actually affect you? Now, if it's going to um, put a strain on any kind of like life aspects, like maybe, uh, you know, you have a family to take care of, any of that kind of stuff, you know, don't miss a car payment. Don't, you know, not eat. Don't do any of that kind of stuff for a new guitar. You know, be happy with one you got wait until you can actually, you know, comfortably get one and stuff like that. It's it's much more enjoyable versus being stressed out because then you're going to get, if, if you buy it and it like really puts a hardship on you and your family, you're going to be all stressed out about money, all this different kind of stuff, and you're not going to enjoy the guitar the way you would if you bought it when it was just more reasonable to get it. So that's kind of the first one I thought we would start with is make sure that it's not negatively impacting your life or, you know, those who are around you or something like that because it can happen and I highly suggest don't do that. Number two, good sir or ma'am, uh, is going to be, is it exactly like your others? Now, of course, there's always going to be exceptions to all the stuff I'm talking about. This is strictly my personal outlook on stuff, because you could be a person who collects, you know, strats or Les Pauls or something like that, and maybe you want to have them all. Um, for me personally, is I try not to have too many exact duplicates. Now, I, I have a lot of, you know, strat style body guitars and stuff like that, but if you really look at them, they are different. I don't have... I don't think I have a single guitar, I'm looking at them, that is exactly the same. You know, they might be similar body style, but the, either the pickup's different, the woods are different, the like pickup layout of the guitar is different, um, and stuff like that. Cause like over there is a uh, Friedman Cali, but I have the Iconic Evolution, both Super Strats, both two humbuckers, one has EMGs, one has the Friedman pickups, one has a maple neck, one has rosewood. You know, like I said, they're similar, but they're not exactly the same. I personally never really understood the point of having 10 of the exact same guitar, because it's it's like this. It's like my uh, my Les Paul. Uh, one just became available, uh, I saw on eBay, my wife saw it, and I'm like, oh, it's really cool. I love this guitar. I don't want another 79KM. Uh, I already have one, you know? That's why I got the gold top. It was, I wanted another Les Paul, but it was totally different, you know? Mahogany body, maple cap, mahogany neck. This one has a maple neck on it. Uh, and obviously P90s, whole different feel to the two guitars, even though they're the same style, they're still very different. Lighting's getting all funky on me. Now this one, of course, is probably going to have a, a bunch of debate, but uh, this is just something that, you know, personally I believe in, but do you have guitars that live in cases? And if you have, you know, some people never want to get rid of a guitar, and that's totally fine. Obviously, it's your money, it's your guitars, you can do whatever you want with it. Personally, um, I don't believe in a guitar living in a case. You can see I have my guitars out, they're ready to play, um, and I play all of them regularly. Uh, once it gets to the point 
where I have a guitar that goes in the case, you know, typically I either sell them or, you know, give them away or something like that if they were given to me, uh, then I just give them away to someone else. And um, I don't, I don't like a guitar to sit and not be played. So before I get, a, you know, a new guitar, I'll, typically I either sell ones that I'm not using, make sure that I'm using the ones that I already have. Um, I always said I'm not a collector, you know. I always want to be a player first, and I just make sure that the guitars I have are getting played. And if it's going to, you know, fill that void that I need, need but uh you know want to be filled and if i have guitars that are sitting like the sg that i sold not too long ago it was just sitting i wasn't playing it boom sold it got something that i use all the time which is the gold top so um i don't i don't like to let you know guitars live in cases Look at that sad looking palm tree. I don't know why I can't keep those things alive. Now number four is gonna kind of be uh, guitar related, gear related, all that good stuff. But, um, sorry, I keep checking the monitor. I'm like, am I recording? There's a bird going crazy outside. Wow, I'm getting sidetracked. So is the guitar the best choice? And I don't mean just in guitar terms, it's in a lot of different aspects. So sometimes, you need to think what your money should be invested into, what's going to be more beneficial than a new guitar. So for me, um, you know, one of the things that this year that I need to invest in is upgrading my computer. I wanna be able to edit better, do more stuff. Uh, I incorporated, you can't see it, a third camera, but it's, it's, it's kinda like, you know, you could obviously take that money and just buy a new guitar or something like that, but it's just kind of like, you know, you have to have the mindset like, but is, is the new guitar gonna really improve things or am I just gonna have another guitar and I'm still gonna have to edit on, you know, the computer that's really slow that eats up so much of my time and you know, I can't do 4K, and, like all these different things. So you just have to think like, is a new guitar the best option or should this money be put somewhere else? And uh, you know, it's gonna make the overall situation better. <laughs> And I figured we'd end right here. Now, for some people, it's very important that the guitar that they get uh, could typically be an investment. They want to make sure that they can sell it if they don't like it and then get something else for it and not lose any money. So I think that's important. If that's something that really is high on your priority list, um, I know for me, I, I typically buy a guitar with the intent that it's, you know, serving a purpose. And, uh, you know, and, and, and maybe this is where I, I can kind of have a little bit of an advantage with stuff like that is like with the SG, for example, I bought the SG. I wasn't sure if I would love it or not. Um, I bought one of the more inexpensive ones and I was like, well, at the end of the day, I'll be able to make, you know, content around it. So it'll help you know, essentially pay for, you know, the money that I'm going to lose if I don't like it and sell it. So that's a little bit different, I guess, because I, I can kind of like justify something like that. I'm like, well, at least I'll, I can make some SG riff videos and stuff like that for having an SG. And I did. Um, but you just want to make sure that if it's something that really is important to you, that it's a good investment. Some guitars just don't carry the same resale value. Uh, and of course, you know, the market's always fluctuating, stuff like that. Um, I, like I said, we recently found one of these finally again. So if you don't know what this is, this is a 79KM that we bought, I think four years ago. And we bought it at a really good time when uh, the vintage market was kind of down. So this could be a good you know, investment idea. Because if you notice that the vintage market is kind of down and you don't mind having your money sit for a little bit, you can kind of wait till it bounces back or something like that. And now, like I said, the one on eBay is like twice what we paid for this. So I'm like, oh, okay, so that's a good investment. I mean, I never want to sell this guitar. It's my favorite guitar. But if I had to, you know, I'm like, okay, well, that was a pretty solid investment. Four years have went by and it's already doubled what we paid for it. So, um, you know, I think, it, you know, if, if that side of stuff is really important to you, make sure you really research what the guitar is, you know, the age of it, all that kind of stuff can really come into play with how much the guitar is actually worth 10 years down the road, five years down the road, stuff like that. 
All right, home diggity dogs, the beardless baker. That's mean right now. <laughs> I will see you all later. Um, you know, like I said, go go buy a new guitar. Go don't buy a new guitar. Yeah, I'm not real sure what the point of this video was, but you know what? You, you Hey, you know what? You asked for this video. And you got it. So I'll see you guys later. Have a good rest of your day. Guitar high fives out of here. And whoop, bop.